Hello everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to Parsha Wine Pairing here at kosherwine.com. Happy Hanukkah. Also, hope you guys are enjoying the Festival of Lights um, and having a great uh, time spinning dreidels, eating latkes, and lighting the menorah, and drinking great wine, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Are you, David? I'm doing all the above. Okay, very good. Nice. How are you doing, Jared? Great. And uh, just so you guys know, we have, um, we have a lot of uh, specials going on this week yep. right, for, the, um, for Hanukkah and for, uh, I guess, you know, it's approaching the end of the year. Uh, hey, Ari, what's up? Hey, Ari. Great. Great. Hanukkah, Hanukkah to you, too. Or Chag Sameach. Um, Hanukkah. Yeah. So uh, actually, you guys are going to uh, France next week, right? Yeah. La prochaine semaine. Mm. That means next week. Mm. Oh, oui, oui. Oui, oui. Oui, oui, oui. oui. Mais s'il oui. vous plaît. Oui, nice. oui. Yeah, okay. well, how long are you going to be gone so our viewers uh, can know if you'll be here next week or not? Only a couple of days. Uh, I'll be back next week. Oh, so you'll be back for partial my parent. Okay. That's the plan. All right, folks. Okay. So then. All right. Anyway, so let's get to it. This yeah, what's this week's Parsha? This week's Parsha is Me Kates, which I believe always falls on Hanukkah, right? Or That's like pretty much most of the time falls on Hanukkah. That's what you say. I take your word for it. I did not check, but. Okay, well, Parsha Me Kates is at the end of two years. We're going back to the story of uh, Joseph, who is in jail. I was about to say slavery, but was brought a slave, now in jail. Things just getting worse for him. But uh, Pharaoh has a dream that he can't interpret. Joseph you know, has been heard uh, to interpret dreams. So he mm -hmm. goes, interprets a dream for Pharaoh about seven cows, seven mm -hmm. years of plenty, seven years of famine. And um, so all these dreams come true. Joseph interprets them. And then he saves Egypt. Egypt uh, prepares for the famine and has a stockpile of food. So it becomes like the new uh, big food uh, distributor for the world. Mm -hmm. And so Joseph is made viceroy of Egypt. So uh, he goes from bottom nothing up, uh, up to a uh, uh, second in command of Egypt. So, Joseph becoming viceroy of Egypt, which I've never heard that word before. Is it viceroy? Viceroy, excuse me. Viceroy. Have you heard um, that word? I've actually, no. Not, not, well, not besides the story of Joseph. So, but. Roy in French is like the spelling is roi, which means king. Right, right. It's like vice president, vice king, mm -hmm. vice, roi, okay. vice, vice roy, vice, vice roi. Vice roi. Oh, okay, now I got it. But it's not you so much. So anyways, Joseph um, goes up, saves Egypt, and becomes uh, second in command in Egypt. His brothers, back in the Eretz Yisrael, in the land of Canaan, are uh, going through a famine with their uh, father Joseph, who everyone thinks he's dead. Well, they know he's not dead, but jo uh, Jacob, excuse me, Jacob, mm -hmm. Jacob, their father, um, tells his sons to go to Egypt to get provisions uh, for the famine. So uh, they go down to Egypt. Joseph instantly recognizes his brothers, though they don't recognize him because he's become all this Egyptian stuff on him and stuff and all that. You know. So he wants to test his brothers to see if they've uh, learned from their ways last time when they sold him as a slave. Mm -hmm. So they have a nice little dinner, and he mm -hmm. says, before you go, I want to you know, give you guys a test. So he takes a little goblet, the special mm -hmm. goblet of the chalice, whatever it's called, mm -hmm. chal goblet, and uh, sticks it in uh, one of their bags um, to make it seem like one of them is stealing. Hmm. Yeah, so crazy things happen. They find it in Benjamin's bag, this goblet. And then so Joseph says he's going to take Benjamin as a slave and imprison him, and the rest can go back. Oh, we push them in our way? Okay. All right. Too much frail and chanak in this. Yeah. And so, uh, so the goblet is uh, used as the test to see if the brothers will um, have mended their ways and stick up for uh, their brother Benjamin, mm -hmm. who uh, Joseph has taken. And this is all a test, though, of course. So now what kind of wine do we have that could go with, like, a goblet? Well... Interesting you ask. We actually have goblet wine. Uh, here we go with the uh, Malbec. As you can see on the back, there's a nice uh, picture of a mm -hmm. goblet, and it's a goblet. Uh, the name of the wine is uh, Goblet, the name of the winery. It's a Malbec from Mendocino County out in California. Got lots of good wines from this winery. The winery is actually in Brooklyn. And uh, he gets his grapes, Yankee Drew gets his grapes from all over the world, including Argentina, uh, California, um, and I believe some, some stuff from the Eastern Hemisphere as well. And uh, he makes his, uh, makes different, different wines with, uh, I think yesterday he just uh, labeled his new Cabernet Sauvignon. The label actually, all the labels are really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wanted to know who his designer was and if they can design our labels for some, some of the wines that we're going to be doing, but like really, really nice labels. And uh, it's indicative of what's inside the bottle as well. Sometimes you could judge a bottle by its label because the labels are fantastic and the wine is fantastic. But let's go ahead and give this a swirl. 
and um, talk to you more about the specific wine. Okay, all right. L'chaim. Ah, that's funny. The back has the quote, mm. I'll stack it with Kansan and Moshiach, but don't look at, it says, don't, <laughs> literally says on the back. I was just noticing that on, now. On the back, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't, don't look at a barrel, uh, but for don't what's inside Don't judge a it. bottle of wine but by I was its saying, cover. I was saying exactly the opposite. But <laughs> either way, either, whatever, whichever way you look at it, judge it by the inside and it's oh, good. How unserendipitous. I have to say, Yankee Jews watching right now, mm. Yasha Koyach on this. This is amazing. I haven't had this yet, so I'm taking this all in. Mm. So much flavor, just a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of uh, notes. It packs. It just like packs so much complexity. It's very enjoyable. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not too much, but it's got a lot of uh, a lot going with this. Uh, yeah, it's got very good acidity. And, and the interesting thing is that you don't get a lot of Malbecs out of California, at least in the kosher market. Um, and in, ge in general, with the kosher wine scene, um, Malbec's not like the most popular varietal. Uh, but there are quite a few you can find now. It's becoming very popular. Yeah, more popular well, products. Uh, you know, Israel's putting out a whole bunch of them. But in terms of high-end high Malbecs, I mean, this is like a mouthful. It's juicy. Mm -hmm. um, you get, it's very different than your, some of your other Malbecs, your, your more leathery, mm -hmm. um, you know, coffee kind of um, fruit prof uh, profile palette, but it's, it's definitely, it's got so much flavor, bursting with flavor, it's got mm -hmm. good acidity. Uh, I mean, this wine is huge and it could, and it could probably age for, for a few years, many years to come. Um, but you know, it's, I always, I'm always more comfortable letting the winemakers talk about their wines when, you know, when they're around. So Yankee, yeah. if you have anything to, to add or to say about the wine, by all means chime in. I, I'll, I'd rather drink than talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. And so this mm. is bottled in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. but sourced from grapes in Mendocino County. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And it's funny, this quote, too, because this is a very nice label. It's mm. like, this wouldn't really need that quote. That would be more for, like, a label that might be a little, like, uh, lacking. But uh, beautiful inside and out. There you go. Um, yeah, it ages 15 months in oak. I mean, you, you, can, you can get some of the oak on there, but it's not like an... I wouldn't call this an oaky wine. Mm -hmm. Definitely packs a, packs a punch. I'm curious what mm -hmm. the alcohol percentage is on 14.5%. 14.5%. Yep. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful wine. The, 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 there was also an Argentinian Malbec, which is now out of stock. Um, also beautiful wine. I really like the Syrah. That's one of my, one of my favorite of, of the series. Um, yeah, just overall, all the wines are really, really good. And yeah, he's a, a great, great winemaker. What did you say? As of now, they, they're aging well. At least two to three years. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and um, it's the the tannins are not gripping, mm -hmm. so you know you're not getting that dryness that you sometimes get. Like I said, it's it's fruitful. It's packs a punch. Like this is a big wine, stands up to food. Mm -hmm. Overall, very very nicely done. Yep, could go well with uh, cholent, with also buco, with beef rouge, uh, maybe with vodkas tonight or tomorrow. Or before uh, the end of Hanukkah. Uh, so yeah. Basically you would have this with everything. I'd have this with everything, yeah. Mm. Anything and everything. So why don't you keep, just keep yeah. wanting, wanting mm -hmm. to drink. Awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. Maybe there'll be a Hanukkah miracle and it'll like, last for... The rest this is going to last for eight minutes. Once this video is turned off, this is going to be gone. Or eight seconds. Um, all right. So that's uh, this week's Parsha. Ties in really nicely. And it's always nice, you know, to... To, to have multiple wines you can make connections with. Mm -hmm. Any of the goblet wines uh, go with this week's Parsha. Uh, and if you guys want, when you go home, steal a Kiddush cup, put it in someone's bag. Right, yeah, put it, exactly, steal it in your bag. So next week... Okay, next week for uh, Parsha Vayigash, we are going to have the, bring it over here, the Seagal's Fusion Red Blend, which I know a lot of you have probably uh, already been drinking for some time. This is a very popular one uh, here at kosherwine.com in the kosher wine market. So uh, Seagal's Fusion uh, Red Blend, get it now so we can have it next week 
can have it uh, for Shabbos next and week. And for next and week, either the either the Sidal fusions will work to pair with the uh, with mm-hmm. partial next week. There's a white, right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, as you guys might know, we're approaching the end of the the book of Genesis, the end mm-hmm. of uh, Sefer Bracious, which means that the mixed case for partial Shemais, for Sefer Shemais, is on its way. Mm-hmm. It's already been, all the wines have been selected. There's only 11 uh, por- uh, Torah portion Torah portion readings. Uh, I don't know why that was so difficult. Maybe I need a little more wine. Uh, in the in the book of Shmos, in the book of Exodus. Oh, fun um, fact about this portion too. This has the most letters. The most Parsha, letters. Just as a random All right. factoid. Yeah. Good fact. Um, so yeah, there's only eleven parshas in Shmos, but we found uh, with so many other things going on, like Shkalim and Tu Shvat and Purim mm-hmm. Katham, we found um, something to tie in for a twelfth bottle. So. That, that case will be available sometime next week. You should order it as soon as it's in. Again, you can always use the code PARSHA7 for 7% off the case. Right now, the, the, the case for a safer bracious is, is still going on. Uh, you get 7% off using that code. This wine, as well as all the wines we featured throughout the, these weeks that we're reading uh, safer bracious are in that case. And then once Shmos rolls around, or actually once next week rolls around, the next uh, case will be available. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be some really, really, really interesting stuff, some interesting connections, mm-hmm. um, and it should be fun. Yep, but for now, hopefully let's all enjoy the goblet, yeah. and um, uh, everyone, again, have a happy Hanukkah. Happy and Hanukkah. Happy uh, Hanukkah, and um, yep. Live from okay. kosherwine.com. Uh, for, before that, that Yankee Drew, thank you for joining, and thanks mm-hmm. for making such great wines. Thanks for everyone else for joining. And Remember to else like and comment and uh, share with your friends. And live from kosherwine.com is Evan and Jared wishing you good Shabbos, Shabbos. and see you next week. Happy Hanukkah.